Hi! Today I'd like to show you another idea that you might use up some 5 inch squares for. I do like those 5 inch squares. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a jewel box block. So I've made one of the blocks here and I'm going to make one for you. So we needed to have some half square triangle units um, in this jewel box block and I have shown you how to make a half square triangle units in a previous video in Quilting Tips and Techniques 006 um, in case you're wanting to have a look at that. Um, so I've actually already made my half square triangle units here and then we need to make up some four patches so they're kind of just little units that make up the block. A lot of them, are <clears throat> a lot of the more traditional blocks are often made up with sort of smaller units like that. So to make the four patches we need to cut some five inch squares into two and a half inch squares. So you can just divide, I've got two here, I've got a red and a, a dark blue and I'm using these scrumptious Christmassy type fabrics I just thought they looked so rich. So I'm going to cut my five inch squares in half so at two and a half inches and then I need to cut them the other way at two and a half inches too. So I'm using my board to help me line everything up and I can see where the markings are lined up with my ruler and I'm going to cut that into two and a half inch squares. So they're all ready to go because the little four patches need two and a half inch squares and the half square triangle units because we've made them from five inch squares we've trimmed them down and they measure four and a half inches so when we put these four patches all together they will also be a four and a half inch block so that's very convenient so I've actually already cut some here that I'm going to to use so we just need to pair them up a red and a blue and then join them together into the blocks so I'm just using my regular quarter inch seam allowance and away I go. So this is a, a very versatile block. Um, I have made it up as a, a, a large quilt using some five inch squares. I've actually made it several times. I've made table runners, all sorts of things with this. It's a great block and with different color backgrounds. It's really nice with a light background or dark or whatever you like really. So that's my little twos together. I'll give them a quick press. I, I do like to press things as I go. I find I get a much better result in the end if everything's nice and pressed. It does seem to make quite a difference to how things come out. So I'm going to press all the seams towards that dark blue. So Because that way when we turn them around to make the little four patches the seams will be going in opposite directions which helps them snuggle in together. Okay. So now we need two little four patches. So if we alternate, turn them around like that and like that and then I'll just join those up. there's nothing hard this is a, a great block because when it's all together it forms another sort of chain pattern going through it depending on how you put it together I guess but and what colors you've used um, but it will it's a very attractive uh, layout and there's so much you can do you can get yourself a piece of graph paper and, and draw it out and add some different colors and things in and plan your quilt and you'll be amazed what comes out when you do things like that so now to make the block, we've got a, a the dark blue is my background colour that goes throughout. So we're going to be placing the, the colour to the outside of the block and the dark blue to the inside. And this red, we're wanting this to form ultimately a chain through. So they need to, to meet in the middle. So whatever colour it is that you're using there, that needs to be forming a continuous diagonal line. So now I'm going to join this to this and this to this and then we'll join those two together and we'll have our block already. A 
I quite like to lay my blocks out ready to pick up like this. It means I know everything's right and I then turn it around and sew the wrong bits together. Not very good at unsewing. So I'm just going to quickly press those seams before I do the next seam. Now because there's a seam in the middle here it's going to want to make the fabric go that way even though there's that little corner one up there so I'm just going to let it go that way and the same on this one. So you can press all the units so that they're looking the same because then when you turn that round to put it together for the block those seams will be going in opposite directions in the middle there. So I'll just join that together and just make sure that you get that little seam to snuggle in together in the middle there. And you can do that by feel. You can pop pins in if you like, but it's a good idea just to keep a little check on it and to get used to feeling where things are sitting. Press that open and then I'll show you what the blocks look like when you put the few together. This is looking quite, quite scrumptious in these fabrics. It's lovely with that little hint of gold in the fabric. Right, so here's my blocks. You can kind of see that you can have this where they meet there you get this really nice chain of the reds going this way and that way and if I had more blocks I could show you more but if I turn these around so that the triangles meet in the middle um, um, oh, we want a different colour there no, we still got it wrong. There we go. <laughs> so you can see that that chain forms like that and that you get these nice sort of blocks of, of bright colours with this lovely chain going through. So that which shows up really well on my pattern that I've done for this. Um, I've called it jewels using five inch squares and I've actually got the quilt um, here that I'll show you that I've made with that. So I've used a bright yellow background on that quilt. It's quite a good size quilt and I didn't put any borders on this quilt. I thought it didn't need anything else. It was saying quite a lot, lot as it was with all the colours in it. And so I've used all different yellows for the background and put lots of different colours in and sort of a bluey green for the chain part and then the brighter colours for the half square triangle units. And uh, that's a, just a really happy cheerful quilt with all that yellow in it. Um, but it was mostly just to show you another idea of something you might do using those five inch squares. So enjoy having a jewel box. Thank you.